Hello everyone, welcome back to 7 Days to Skeptic. Alright, I believe I have something to do, and that something is pulling a body off of some spikes in space. That sounds safe, doesn't it? Yeah, I'm just going to go out to where the person died. I'm sure nothing bad could happen there. Just don't slip on the blood stains. Or maybe I should talk to some people. Hold on. I came from here, right? Yeah, I already talked to everybody here. I know I can't take the machete because it's evidence, and why would I want it anyway? Well, I mean, it is self-defense, but... Actually, the more I think about it now, I think I really want a weapon. Is there a gun on board? Can I get, like, a plastic knife from the cafeteria? I'll take anything. I mean, the captain was macheted to death. I really would like some sort of weapon for self-defense. I guess I do have wrenches. If there's a big wrench amongst the set, at the set, that could be a decent weapon, I suppose. Anyway, alright. Um, yeah. Do I want to talk to people or do I want to just go straight to it? Let's maybe talk to a couple people. Hey, Serena, what's going on? Okay. I know from the past, don't try to grab her. Try to talk to her. That's how normal people interact. They talk. They don't just grab people. Serena? Hello, Dr. Somerset. How are you holding up? Not well. I still can't believe he's dead. How are we going to cope without him? I'm sure Angela can get by as commander for now. Angela could have been the killer. Any of us could have been the killer. True. Any theories about Barry? I'm trying not to think about it. If it was one of us, it was obviously an act of random lunatic violence. And that means it could happen again. I know. Motiveless crimes are always the hardest to investigate. I'm concerned about the rest of the crew. I know what you mean. Adam and William both seem scared stiff of something. But Angela isn't bothered at all. Dr. Somerset... I'm flattered you want to confide this in me. But you are the ship's counselor, and this is therefore your business. I can't help you at all. No. No, I suppose not. Sorry, Ensign. Can you send the distress signal yet? I told you, you need to remove the... blockage from the radio masts. I'll get right on it. Alright. Let's just go do it. Can't delay any further. Must get down to the unpleasant business. Which is down in... Engineering, right? Yeah. What's that noise? I don't remember hearing that noise before. Is that the engine? Okay, well, nothing's changed about the creepy locker. Nothing's crawled back into it, at least. Close the back, put on the suit. Out we go. Of course, let me save first. Oh, wait, wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. No, no, don't, no. Go back out. Doofus. What's wrong with you? It's almost like you're obeying the instructions of, of some jackass who doesn't know what he's doing. Silly. You know, it almost looks like he's wearing a, a space hoodie, doesn't it? The top of it looks less like a helmet and more like just white cloth, like he's wearing a bag over his head or something. Uh, detach? Right, right, right. No, no, hold on, hold on. There, there you go. There you go. Okay. 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 
Just check down here again. Ooh. What the hell is that? A key ring. Why is there a key ring there? I can't get a good look over the edge while I'm attached to the safety rail. Oh, <laughs> okay then. I think that's gonna stay there forever. I am not unhooking myself from the safety rail. That would be unsafe. Uh... Dr. Somerset, do you read me? Do you require any assistance with removing the blockage? Uh, it seems not. Could you withdraw the masts for a second? Certainly. Serena, the captain's body isn't here anymore. What? It's gone. It, it must have gotten jarred off or something. When the ship's at a standstill? Anyway, we'll worry about it later. Send the distress signal. It'll take a few minutes for... Clonk thump? Uh, Serena? Serena, come in. Please. Hell. Okay, clonk thump. That's not what you want to hear through the radio and there's a murderer on board. Also, are these radio masts, like, just made for penetrating people? That, that sounded weird. But, yeah, they, they go up and down rather fast. In a disturbingly silent fashion. I kind of want to see if I can get the keys. Maybe I just, you know, maybe I need something, like, long to get over to it. Because I'm pretty sure if I disconnect myself, I'm going to Yeah, I'm going to die if I disconnect myself. That's dumb. Let's not do that. I need, like, a, a space broom to get the space keys. Probably close the door behind me before I take off my spacesuit so that I don't space die. No, not the light. The switch. <laughs> the light. Hold on, how many pixels is the selection box for the light? It's like. It's, it's like. Surprisingly many. There's surprisingly many pixels for the light, but it's still an extremely small switch. The switch and the light are actually two separate things, and I'm alternating between them right now. Oh, adventure games. Adventure games in your. Pixels. Well, the locker's still here, so it didn't spontaneously grow legs and go clonk Selena on the head. Anyone in here? Okay, just checking. Gotta keep looking for the captain. For the captain's body, even though he's dead. I mean, maybe, I don't know, maybe he he's a zombie. You never know. Was it Opstec? I think it was Opstec. Yeah. You know what? I should probably save it here, too. Yeah. Dr. Somerset. Have you seen Serena? I was just about to ask you that. I was talking to her over the communicator. Then she just cut off abruptly. How strange. The trouble is, the distress signal still needs to be sent. And only she and the captain knew the communication code. Oh, of course! Eh, right. Commander, aren't you concerned for Serena's well-being? Should I be? It seems far likelier that she has simply gone to the toilet or for something to eat. <laughs> what? Oh, I'll go look for her. See if you can track down the captain's code book, too. Okay. It's likely she's just gone to the toilet or for something to eat. I heard a clonk over the communication device, and her chair is fallen over. Did you have to piss so bad she kicked away her chair and her 
Haste? Seems unlikely. You think you could hold it in for a little bit if you're going to send the distress signal. You know, the distress signal that's going to save you from being murdered. Hopefully. <sighs> Another day aboard the Mephistopheles. Hey, Adam. Adam? Hey, John. Did you move Barry's body? N no. Why the hell would I? Then who did? Why are you asking me? You think I steal bodies as a hobby? Forget it. Have you seen Serena anywhere? She went to the bridge. Didn't she? I think something might have happened to her. Look, I haven't moved from this spot, alright? Alright. Well, at least the machete's still there. That's a good sign. I guess it probably wasn't used to kill Serena. Let's go to the top. Nope. Let's go top down. What about here? Maybe she's in my office. No. Okay, actually, where is everyone? I've seen... How many people are on board? I'm actually not sure. There's not that many. Okay. Don't see... Don't suppose she'd be in my place? How would she even get inside? No, that doesn't make any sense. What about the toilet? Do I have to go to the toilet? Eh, no. I'm gonna keep trying. One of these days, you're gonna have to piss. And I'll be there. To guide your... Never mind. I'm not gonna finish that sentence. <laughs> Panel... I think I can ring the bell, right? The space bell? Yes. Leave me alone. Oh! It, William. I said leave! Okay. Nobody's home. That doesn't leave too many places where she could be. In fact, haven't I now just been like everywhere except back outside? I think? I mean, I could go back to the elevator shaft, I suppose. Hold on, what's in here? I don't remember. Oh, it's a, like claw control stuff, right? Yeah, not allowed in there. Okay. I don't have the code for that. I can go back outside, but... Would she be out there? I mean, while I was coming back in, I would have had to see somebody coming back out if they were to be out there, right? Maybe I should check the elevator shaft. If it's even going to allow me to go inside of there, it probably won't. No, it does. Okay. No. I do believe I've missed something. Must have missed an aria. Once again, top down. Definitely not here. Oh wait, did I go over here? What is even over here? Have I ever been here? Oh yeah, escape. Okay. I'm assuming these all look unlaunched. Mm-hmm. Yep, 
Yeah, I mean, they seem fine. Okay. Time was... Uh, okay, yeah. Seat... I mean, I certainly can't go in here. I, need, I don't have the captain's key card. Hold on, what did I say? Okay, yeah. Gotta be opened by the panel. Ring, ring. Okay. Any suggestions? Any orders for me? Or as always? Uh-huh. Barry's corpse is gone. Excellent. You work quickly, Doctor. No, you don't understand. No, I mean, it's gone, and someone else moved it before I could. Are you sure? It could have simply fallen off the masts. Maybe. But it seems so strange. Counselor, please, learn to apply logic more often. <laughs> Applying logic does not mean ignoring the obvious. Serena turned up yet? Regrettably not. Hmm. Okay, I think I need to go outside and, I guess, get the keys, maybe? I feel like I'm gonna die just trying to get the keys, but I don't see what else to do. One more quick pass through. Wait, this is still locked, right? I think it's William that's got the key. Mm-hmm. I really don't want to try to get that key. I guess I'm going to have to try to get that key. Yeah, alright. I'm done here. Legoo. That was supposed to be let's go, by the way. I just, I didn't feel like pronouncing parts of the word. It felt uncool at the time. Now I just feel like an idiot because it sounded extra stupid. Save it. All right, here we go. I'm going to save it again. Little bit closer. Use your wrench to get it? No, just use your hand, I guess. It's out of my... Well, get closer. Did you, you jackass get closer? Or you can just go die. Fine. That, that's fine. It's almost like he's doing a dance in space, like he's just... I mean, look, it's like there's there's stars all around him, and there are literally stars all around him. It's like he's doing a fabulous space dance. There's just, like, glitter shooting everywhere and stars, and I just imagine rainbows. It's like he's breaking out into song and dance, just silent. It's like a... It's, he's a mime. So anytime I try to get it, I'm just gonna fall off, right? Yeah, it's out of my reach. I... I think I need something to get it with, but I don't have anything, surely? I could talk to the keyring. It won't reply. Surprise! Oh. Got it! It's the card to Captain Chahal's quarters. Oh. Why don't you reclip yourself before you die?
Now that I've got an important object that might help me solve what's going on, somebody's probably going to be coming from me. After all, they seem to be trying to stop Serena from sending the distress code. Distress signal. So, yeah. A little bit concerned about that. Someone apparently knows what's going on. In other words, it's one of us. Maybe. Or just a ghost that can be everywhere at every time. What fresh, horrible events have happened? Huh. Nothing. Hmm? Seems perfectly normal. I was expecting, like, little bits of Serena to be strewn... ...on this... I was gonna say rug, but actually that might be like a little golf course. Or maybe it's a golf course rug. Maybe it's AstroTurf. That'd bring a whole new meaning to AstroTurf, wouldn't it? Truly, truly AstroTurf. Space turf. Space grass. Space anything is awesome, isn't it? Like, I'm gonna sit at my space desk and sip space coffee for my spaceship. In space. Yeah. Drawers are locked, of course. Hmm. A little red book. Actually, it's not very little. It's actually quite large. You can tell this is the captain's bed. He gets brown sheets. Yeah, who the hell gets brown sheets? It's weird. That's okay. I still like the captain. I forgive him his fashion faux pas. Is that how you pronounce it? I don't know. Mainly technical texts and a few classic novels. Nothing of interest here. It looks like the captain's code book. Oh, sweet. I will take that. Thank you. Uh, I just realized, can you actually look at your inventory independent of trying to use an object? Because normally you right-click on an object, and you can use inventory items on it. That's save and load. What, that's exit, and this is... What is that? That's just telling you how to interact. Like, what if I want to read it? I guess I just have to kind of use it on an item. Yep, it's a book of codes used for... Intership communication. Alright. Captain's bathroom. The captain's throne. Aw, oh, I wanted to take a look at it. See if it was, like, gold-plated or something. The captain's personal console allows him to perform several functions from his quarters. Hmm... Welcome back to your personal network interface, Barry. You have no new emails. There are no news items that match your preferences. Enter hell for available functions. Wait, can I not? I'm sorry, I'm typing in a console that doesn't accept enter. Are you serious? What console ever invented in the history of the world doesn't accept enter to input whatever whatever you've typed. Like, isn't that... I, I, I mean, I don't... Okay. Standard commands. Mm -hmm. Email, news. Well, I know he's, he's got no new emails, but let's just try it anyway. I just tried to press enter again. Yep. Date. 29th of July, 2385. Maybe I should write that down just in case that's useful for something. I'm assuming adventure game nonsensory will happen soon, even though so far it hasn't. I'm actually rather pleasantly surprised. Yeah, it's, it's actually been quite a while. It's been about an hour and a half and I haven't had to resort to a walkthrough. Which I'm pretty sure is a hell of a lot better than the last game was. In terms of how confusing it is. This one's been perfectly fine. Oops. Oops. 
Ooh, Captain, access override functions. Excellent. Please enter your six-digit override code to access intraship functions or type a menu to return to the start menu. Well, that'd be in the code book, right? So what's the code? Can I use the book on the console? Okay, I'm just gonna go. All right, let's do this. Or not. Do you wanna do this? There we go, is this what we need? Yes, that's the captain's code book. Find the communication authorization code and read it off. Here we go. 11772, thank you. This is First Officer Angela Garrett of the EFS Mistopheles. Attention all ships in the immediate vicinity. We are in urgent need of assistance. Over. Officer Garrett, this is Captain James Linderman of the EFS Charisma. What is the nature of your emergency? Over. Engines dead by unknown means. Captain Barry Chahal has been murdered. All crew members currently suspects. Over. Acknowledged. We are five days travel from your current position. In the meantime, sit tight, boys and girls. Over and out. There. Soon we'll be picked, we'll be picked up and this will all be behind us. Five days. We have to sit and wait for rescue for another five days? When there could be a psychotic killer on board? Previously, Doctor, we were going to sit and wait for rescue indefinitely with the psychotic killer on board. We should be grateful that events have improved, however marginally. John! Commander! I just saw the captain! You found his body? No, I saw him alive. He was down in the engineering decks. He was walking funny, and his clothes were all covered in blood. Lieutenant, the captain is dead. We all know that. I'm telling you, I saw... Adam, are you absolutely sure you saw what you say you saw? I mean, is there absolutely no other explanation for what it was? I don't... I don't know, probably. Counselor, perhaps you should escort the lieutenant back to his quarters. But I saw... Lieutenant, there is no logical explanation for your claim. You were obviously just tired or overstressed. Let's go, Adam. What was it all about, Adam? The captain is alive, John. Damn it, Adam. Barry is dead. I'm the one who found his body. Barry Jahal is dead, yes. But he isn't our captain anymore. What are you talking about? The ship has a new captain, John. <laughs> Adam! I recognize that dream all too well. Wednesday. Well, gentlemen, the distress signal has sent. All we can do now is wait. Where Serena got to? I'm not sure. She did not come back to our quarters yesterday evening. Oh, God. This is going to turn out badly, isn't it? We have to remain optimistic. It's all very well just saying that. Uh, sorry I'm late, Doctor. Nice of you to join us. Uh, yes. What, what were we talking about? Serena, Serena is missing. I was out on an EVA, checking on the radar masts. I heard some odd noises over the comms, like sounds of a struggle. When I got back in, she was gone. Oh, uh, really? Is anyone else seeing a sort of pattern emerging here? I beg your pardon? Well, far be it for me to raise... I don't know what that said, <laughs> but you were the one who found Barry's body. And now you have first-hand experience of Serena's encounter, too. Does anyone else think that this is a bit coincidental? Now, wait a minute. Oh god, just shut up, William. I've got records of all the communications on board. 
They show with no doubt that John was outside when something happened to Serena. Oh. Oh. Uh, I'm so sorry, John. Forget it. I, I mean it. I, I was totally out of line. I'll uh, get back to sickbay. What is up with him? The doctor seems to be getting worse. It can only be a matter of time before he cracks. We just have to hope we can hold on for five more days. It still seems mighty suspicious to me. Adam, please, don't. I suggest we begin searching for Serena. There's still a chance that she is perfectly alright. I just now realize that I've been saying, like, Eva? When it's usually pronounced EVA. I mean, don't get me wrong, Eva's kind of fine, but yeah, it's EVA. I don't know why I didn't recognize that word as being E-V-A. Just realized that. kind of threw me off for a second. I was like, oh god, E-V-A. She'll probably pronounce it E-V-A. Sounds kind of cool to say Ava, though, doesn't it? I'm going on an Ava. It's a pretty name. All right, let's go look for Serena's body. I mean, let's go look for her perfectly fi- Uh, what the- That was Serena. Um. <laughs> I was gonna say, let's go look for her perfectly fine body, jokingly, because of course she's gonna be dead, but maybe not? Ah, <sighs> then again, what Adam just said. I'm probably just seeing things too. Okay, where, sh where could she have gone? Top down. Adam. And I just tried to grab him, again. Adam? Oh, hi John. I saw Serena. Oh, well then, what are you all so worried about? She's fine. I could have imagined it. Like I imagined Barry, huh? You sound like Angela. What are you doing here? It's just... I've never really looked at the universe before. What? I just wanted to come and look at it. We're supposed to be looking for Serena. I know, I know. But that can wait half an hour, can't it? Are you feeling all right, Adam? Of course. Aside from the captain being dead and everything. I'm just fine. If you don't mind me saying, you've been acting very oddly. Ever since we brought the locker aboard. Do you really think so? I can't say I noticed. I'll see you later. Bye. <laughs> yeah, he's gonna murder me. I'm telling you, the thing, the thing taking the form of people, gotta test the blood, put a hot wire in it, and see if it reacts or whatever they did to test for it in the thing. I think that's what they did, didn't they? That's where I came from. What am I doing? You playing darts? No. Willy! Oh, hello, John. Is there something you want to say to me? Uh, yeah. I really apologize for how I've been lately, John. I've been going through some stress. I can understand that. We'll say no more about it. Have you gotten over your anxiety? Oh, yes. I'm absolutely fine now. No concerns at all? Well, just about Barry and Serena and all that. Yes, all that. Any ideas about what's going on? Going on? I'm probably as stumped as you are. Maybe more so. I mean, I haven't witnessed any of these weird things going on. I'm still not completely sure of the situation. Well, if you come to tomorrow's meeting, you'll probably be filled in. Yes, I suppose so. Hmm. 
Man, I'm so hungry, I haven't eaten for two days. Oh, Jesus. Let's go get some food. Is that a suggestion that I should go here? Alright. I'm still thinking this thing might serve me something less than palatable. As in something horrific. Like, literally, something from horror. Like, a horror movie or a horror game or something. I don't know, blood. Blood in a cup. Let's see. I'll order a standard lunch. Hmm? What the hell? There's blood all over this tray. See? I knew it! I knew it! I called it. I totally called that one. Now, who's gonna give me money for calling that, huh? Anybody? Anybody? Damn it. Fucking bloody tray? It's covered in a viscous red liquid. <laughs> hey, like Adam said, I think it was Adam. The red thing on the machete could be anything. It could be ketchup. Maybe somebody was cutting up ketchup packets. They didn't have a knife. And maybe, you know, the little scored part of the ketchup packet didn't open correctly, so they needed something sharp to cut it, so they used a machete. And they cut about 200 ketchup packets. You never know. There's no way there's something on top of the elevator again, right? That'd just be silly. Jesus, that's loud. Fuck. <laughs> scared me. Nothing but this rhythmic tapping of click clack click clack click clack and then suddenly Alright, well if I haven't eaten in two days, then I certainly haven't gone to the bathroom in two days either. Always worth a shot. That's where I'm at, right? Yeah. I seriously don't like the sound of that reactor core. It's very menacing. Okay, locker's still fine. Nothing in it, right? Empty? Of course. There's no reason for me to go outside, right? Surely not. Which means what? Bl bring the bloody tray to the captain? And say WTF? I may need it. For what? What are you going to do with a bloody lunch? The fuck? Okay, maybe I do go, out go outside. Um, I may need the bloody lunch for what? What am I going to use a bloody lunch for? What could I possibly use a bloody lunch for? Hey, William, what do you think of my bloody lunch? No? Okay, I guess I'm going outside. Unless... Maybe I just talked to her and that's how I mentioned the bloody lunch? I think I saw Serena in the hallway. Are you quite certain? Well, it was only for a second. I suppose I could have imagined it. I think that's quite likely, don't you? I suppose. What are you doing? I'm trying to find the security records for the last few days. For some reason, they're not in the usual directory. Could someone have hidden them? Possibly. Then again, the computer does run occasional self-cleanup programs. It's possible they could have been lost in one of those. 
That sounds far-fetched. I would think it would avoid erasing important security information. Otherwise, it's very poorly designed. But then again, this is a old old ship, so... I'm concerned about the others. Oh, why? Adam knows something. What makes you think that? He's very scared of something. For some reason, he's avoiding his duties. Counselor, a man is dead. Another is missing. Fear is a very understandable reaction. I know, but never mind. William is acting very oddly. Yes, I think that goes without saying. Do you find it suspicious? Well, I'm not really sure. We are in a very stressful situation. It can provoke strange reactions in anyone. But one of us had to be a murderer. I know, Doctor. I'm choosing to disregard this until help arrives. I would suggest we all do the same. How are you feeling? I'm concerned for the future of the crew. But there's still work to be done. Fair enough. I, I guess I got side. I don't think I missed anything, and I can't think of where I would use the bloody lunch. Unless... Hold on. Am I supposed to eat it at the table? Do I use it on the table? Do I open the bloody lunch and see what's inside? I probably do, don't I? I'm not eating this. It's covered in... something. Okay. Well, I don't want to eat it. I want to open it. I don't think I can combine inventory items, can I? Which is kind of a relief, because it vastly simplifies the number of things I could do. Or at least it would if I had more items. At the moment, I couldn't really combine any of these, really. Okay. I guess I go outside? I don't know. Pour it into the plants? Bloody, bloody lunch. It just seems... dumb to go outside, though. Like, I have no narrative reason to go outside, really. Other than searching for Serena, but it seems like a... major risk to go outside where I could be blown off at a second's notice. Just to search for Serena. she hasn't joined Barry's resting spot. Well, actually, maybe it's not his resting spot. It was his dying spot, but he didn't rest there. Touch the spikies. They're sharp. I can't budge them. Fair enough. Yeah, I don't feel like this is what I'm supposed to do. I can't keep walking to the side, right? But I don't feel like I'm supposed to go outside the ship. No, I'm not. It's quicker. Save some time. Alright, so what am I missing? Estimated time to walk through. 30 seconds. Estimated time to walk through. Recalculating. 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 Recap. Shut up. Oh, Serena. Huh? 
I don't know any override codes. You did have the book, but I guess you don't have it anymore, do you? I do believe I just went everywhere. Did I not? If I went everywhere, then that means... I think I need to do something with a bloody lunch. What the fucking hell can I do with a bloody lunch? Ring, ring. I don't want to eat that, it's covered in blood, that's kind of gross. Time to walk through is gonna, it's gonna be coming pretty soon. I feel it coming on. One more pass. Maybe I can eat the bloody lunch at my own desk. I don't think so. Did you have to walk all the way over there to tell me that? You dick. Such a troll. He's like, I'm going to go over here and something's actually going to happen and this is going to progress again. Oh, no, it's not. I just tried to grab her again. I'm sorry. Mm hmm. And she doesn't want the bloody lunch. Or at least I don't want to give it. Because apparently it might be important. I can't, like, compare the blood with the machete blood? <laughs> what am I, CSI? Like, as a correct grammar, that would be a CSI. Do you want the bloody lunch? Please tell me you want the bloody lunch. Just take the bloody lunch. Please, Adam. Please, Adam. This doesn't even do anything. Walk through. Ah, of course. Surprise, the solution makes no sense whatsoever. Gotta hand it to you, game. You got by about an hour and a half without any such nonsense. But it couldn't last, of course. Here's the solution. Because I got blood from the dispenser, I'm supposed to use the wrenches on the dispenser. Because apparently it can be taken apart with a wrench, even though there's no indication that that's even possible. Mm-hmm. I think there's something lodged up here. I'll try to pry it out. See, look, just, I, I just want to mention what would have avoided this frustration and me walking around for like five minutes not finding anything. Is simply mentioning that I think there's something lodged up there. Maybe I should try to look what's in there. Like, just tell me that. I, then I could figure out, oh, I've got wrenches. That's great. But like, I didn't even know that using wrenches were possible on this thing. I didn't even know that was possible within the game space. Like, just give me a little something to know, like, what you kind of intend me to think about. Or, or probably best would be, ew, it's a hand. What? It's a human hand. Freshly severed, I think. Serena. Yeah, that's not good. Or in addition to, you know, giving saying something like, I think there might be something lodged in it, you could have it so that if you bring the bloody tray to, say, the captain or anybody else, and you tell them about it, they say, you know, like, why don't we see what's in there? Anything like that. It's those, it's those little things that really make all the difference. Because as it is now, this scene is just... 
it's something that I I like to think of as like a movie director like a movie director asking an actor to play out a scene without giving them the script it's like obviously I'm supposed to use the wrenches on this thing and that's how this scene is supposed to play out but nobody gave me the script <laughs> how am I supposed to know nobody even gave me a hint as to what I'm even supposed to do weird Okay, now I'm assuming I bring the news of the hand to the captain, even though you think the bloody food would be reason enough to go talk to her, but apparently it's not. Please. I found something in the vending machine. Oh? Here. A hand. Whose? I can only presume it's Serena's. This is very troubling. Investigate further, doctor. But be very, very careful. I will, commander. Wait, I can keep mentioning it? Whoops. Do I keep using the wrench on it? How do I investigate further? I don't think so. Once again! I'm like an actor in a movie who hasn't been given the script, and yet is expected to play out the scene. Investigate for- I've got a hand. How do I investigate further? Look for more random- can I use it again? No. Do I just look for random body parts coming out of... things? <laughs> I mean, what? I... I don't even... Is there some new dialogue option, perhaps? Adam... I found out what was wrong with the vending machine. Oh, good. Look at this, Adam. Oh, for God's sakes, John, that's gross. Get that thing away from me. I think it might be Serena's. I don't care. Get rid of it. Alright, well, maybe William the Doctor can tell me something about the hand. Like, this hand appears to have been severed by some gigantic space bug with its pincers. I can tell because of the, the slight... the slight serrations around the, the thingy the stuff. Insert sign speak. I need your opinion on something. Anything. Oh, good God. Where did you find it? Would you believe? Lodged in the vending machine? What I don't get is why there wasn't a trail of blood leading up to it. The, the ship has self-cleaning walls. But they don't clean off every trace of dirt. If you used ultraviolet light, you'll be able to see traces of human bodily fluids. Hold on a sec. Ooh. Tool from the locker. This might help with your investigations. An ultraviolet light emitter? I really appreciate this, Doctor. You better leave the hand with me. There are some tests I should run on it. Sure. I'm guessing I'm going to find a trail of blood leading to somewhere. Somebody's room, perhaps. In fact, I'm almost certain of it. Because what do you know? It's on the residential deck. Hmm. Oh, it went into the shaft? I should probably save it. That might be wise. What the 
hell? Up there? Okay, so it's up a level, I guess. I mean, it doesn't seem like there's anything else I can do here. Yeah, I'm not really sure where that actually leads. This is the next level. Oh, it might be the vent. Yeah, that's probably where it leads. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Panel? Screwed on pretty tight. Oh my god. That looks like Serena's badge. Uh, S Serena, what the fuck? What the hell's going on? Uh, Dr. Somerset. <laughs> Thursday. Inside, please, doctor. Oh, god damn it. That's what I get for investigating. Come on, commander, this isn't this isn't necessary. Do you really think so? Surely you must agree as an intelligent man that the evidence seems to point to you. You seem to have been closely involved in the discovery of both bodies. It's because I'm a good detective! That doesn't mean anything. I appreciate the link is flimsy. This is more of a precaution until the proper investigators arrive. Great. She gonna shoot me. Make a break for it. You suck. Did I just take the rail? Hmm. A sturdy plastic towel rail about the size of a baseball bat. Ooh, good for hitting people. I'm not that tired. Fair enough. Hmm, can I reach it around the corner? Just bend, just bend it around the corner. Flip it, it'll be fine. Alright, well, at least you didn't repossess my airlock pass, or my key cards, Or my bloody lunch. Right, so I think I need to get her closer, I guess. Commander. Yes, Doctor. I just realized, this is actually very similar to Five Days a Stranger. When you get locked up by the others and you have to convince one of them to let you out. Or whatever the hell happened exactly. It's very, very similar. Right, so she likes reason, obviously. She likes logic. I'm using air quotes for logic, because it's not real logic. It's more like... I, I don't even know. Some weird version of logic. That apparently includes denying the obvious. <laughs> it just actually occurred to me. The name of this game, a Seven Days a Skeptic. She is. She's the, the token skeptic character. The one that's usually poorly written to be an absurd skeptic. A caricature of an actual skeptic. Hmm. I didn't kill anyone. Not convincing. How much longer? Hmm. Angela. Well, I'm here. The real killer is still loose. Oh, yes. I forgot you were doing some little investigations of your own. Who do you have pinned down for the real killer? I think there's someone else on board. Someone or something that came out of the locker. She's not going to accept that though, will she? The captain, that makes no sense. Why did he die? <sighs> I 
I think there's someone else on board. How could another person have possibly gotten on board? <laughs> this is where I lose her. The internal scanners would have spotted them. What if they weren't a physical being? Yeah. Doctor, I have no idea what you think you're talking about. Even if non-physical beings existed, they cannot murder corporeal entities. Commander, behind you! Counselor, please. Even if I... Uh... 